In this video, I'll show you what all these buttons mean on QBOX and how you can use them based on your own trading habits. The first thing will actually be to bring up the properties menu so you can change some of the settings available to you um, based on your own trading needs. So if you click F7 on your keyboard for Windows users, if you are a Mac user, just right click and then find the expert list and then click on properties. The same box will actually appear. So if you'd like to actually use a different theme, there are four themes available for you to choose. Um, you can choose whichever theme that you prefer for QBOX itself. And if some of you find that because of your monitor's resolution, the font size is actually looking a bit weird, you can change it over on these areas here as well. First thing, if you are like me and use percentage of equity uh, for all of your trades, this is where you will change what is the percentage risk per trade. So remember to do this part here before you actually take any trades. So I've chosen for close custom one, which is this button over here, to close off 80% of my trade the moment I hit this button when my trade is open. So the next one will be on partial stop losses. I've set it to be at 50% and this will lead to this button over here. So the moment the trade comes against me, if I have this trigger on, once price taps into this partial stop loss area, it will close off my position automatically. So I'll give you an example. When opening a trade, click on the count button. If let's say you choose to go long, then just make sure that your blue line, which is the TP line here, is above and the stop loss is below. So it's quite intuitive. So in this case, we'll be trying to go short on here as an example. Once the count button is on, if you pay attention to this area over here, the lot sizing, since I already have my percentage set at 0.5%, every time I shift this stop loss button up and down, notice how the lot size actually changes accordingly and automatically. If I like to risk a fixed amount, it's also possible and then the lot size will just change accordingly again. If you are the kind that likes to use fixed lot sizes on your trade, then just punch in whatever number you want and then click buy or sell immediately after you have placed your stop loss and take profit lines. So in this case, I'll show you the example of partial stop loss. So once I've executed this trade up with my stop loss and TP placed, I'll click sell. You can see that the trade is actually active over at the bottom here. So if I click on partial stop loss, it will bring up an extra line. I can shift it to this area. For example, if I think that I want to cut off 50% once price is actually broken above this candle's high, once I have set the trigger and the button is, has turned orange, if price flips up and goes against me, it will automatically close half of the position. So to turn off the trigger, all you have to do is just click on the button again. The next buttons that we'll be looking at is TP1 and TP2 over here. This is where you trail your stop loss automatically as well as secure profits at certain areas when, it, when price comes. So in this case, I have set my TP1 to close 50% of my trade and then I will move my stop loss to a certain area with stop loss 1 and to close another 50% of my trade once it hits TP2. So these buttons can be reused once the trigger has been activated and price has hit. So let me show you how this works. When the trade is active, click on TP1, you will see that you have stop loss 1 and TP1. So for example, if I want to close off half of my trade once price reaches this area, let me show you how to use the TP1 and TP2 button so that you can set all your relevant stop loss and take profit after you have entered a trade, whether it's a pending order or a market execution. And there after that, you can actually walk away from the charts. When you click on TP1, you'll see that stop loss 1 and TP1 actually appear on your screen. So if this green line here is my entry, if I'd like to secure 50% of my trade over at this area and to move my stop loss to break even, this is how I will shift the lines. And then I'll, I'll just click on TP1 to activate it. The same will go for TP2. So if I want TP2 stop loss to be a bit deeper, since TP2 is when I know that price has actually gone into my favor, assuming that I think price is coming lower down this way, once price has actually passed this area, I would like my stop loss to actually shift even lower into profit. So I can set my 
stop loss to be maybe below this structure over here and TP2 will only trigger once price has actually touched this area first. Only then will my stop loss move from this stop loss 1 to stop loss 2. At these two points, TP1 and TP2, based on my settings, if you can remember over here, I've set them to close 50% of my trade accordingly once price has reached these two levels. In this way, you can set all these triggers up on your charts, whether it's a market execution or a pending order. And once that's done, you don't really have to stay on the charts anymore. So if you don't want to use fixed um, market structure to trail your stop loss and you would prefer to trade it by risk reward, just click on this button over here, trail RR it will automatically put it at the original stop loss first because that is how the system actually calculates your risk reward. So if you remember on this area here, risk reward when trailing starts. This means that once price actually hits 2R, my stop loss will, be, will start trailing at 1R. So 3, it will go to 2 and 4 at 3. You get the picture. So once this thing has been triggered, once price reaches the first 2R area, it will automatically throw my stop loss down to 1R. So in this way, you don't have to worry about managing your trades or having your emotions run wild while you keep staring at the charts. So yeah, hopefully you found this video useful. Um, if I missed out anything or if it's not clear, just reach out to me and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Enjoy QBox everyone.